push to the edge uh, is the new work which we are premiering at North Shore Performing Arts Center in Skokie, Illinois. Uh, it's going to be on a Saturday on the 14th at 8 p.m. Shirley Modine and I have been uh, collaborating for the past, I would say, two, three years or even more. We've done three collaborations together. And uh, we talked about it and I came up with this uh, idea of being pushed to the edge. So it is a, an exciting uh, kind of a production where two different cultures come together. They are, uh, we all have, uh, we all come from different cultures anyway to the United States. But each one of us bring in a different experience and our, uh, our an experience different encountering encounters uh, the trials and tribulations of the east the west coming together um, how they discover each other how they are marginalized sometimes how they are pushed over how there is no room how there is a competitiveness how there is only one space and we have uh, too many people to take that place. All right, the first stage is just this, that what we were yeah, doing. Yeah. The second one is more like a discovering or the sense of being uncomfortable, like, ooh, yeah, when you did that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. And in a sense, experiencing the other privately. It's not connected yet. Uh, then there's a sense of, I'm gonna use this metaphorically, clashing with each other. And the idea is literally the confrontation of two cultures and confrontation in the best sense. And you counter her weights. That's it. Yeah. That's interesting. Good. Good. You found your own weights. My um, art form uses weight totally differently than the Indian dancers do. So I'm one of you guys. And when you go, da, da, da. <laughs> rhythm sense is so developed and so amazing than what my dancers come out of. So even within the body, how we use weight, how we use rhythm, how we use gesture. Uh, you know, with the Indian sensibility, it's taking it from the cosmos with all those images and imaginative play and putting it into something very specific. Make sense? From my culture, what I sense is we start with something very specific and we abstract it from there. Abstract in the sense of draw out the essence of something. So it's like an opposite journey of how one experiences or uses gesture. There are 12 dancers and 10 chairs. And they start bringing them out, and you're always short a chair. Who's going to sit down at the table, is the, is the idea. And struggling to get to that seat that's empty, and that kind of play. And it just kind of goes on like that. There aren't enough seats for everyone here. You know, the implication, there's a problem here. <laughs> and finally, the dancers just pile them up on top of this one dancer, and they, it becomes a, a like, a, I call it the Tower of Babel and uh, the chairs are removed as this huge form on top of this dancer, and then it moves into the work from there. So the work is abstract. It's, it's, uh, and I just think it's, it sets up a, 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 moment of, a, a moment of realism that one can connect to. Regardless of caste, creed, region, race, nationalities, or whatever, we all have to be empathetic towards each other and that is what is most important and, and it's not that I learned so much about how Hema works and how she thinks and how her art form works it makes you look at your own art form and question and really analyze what you do how it's possible to do something uh, differently how, how it's how it stretches you to think differently. Yes, and I concur with Shirley because I've collaborated with 
several people, including Yo-Yo Ma, and um, this is what everyone says, and I hear the same thing, uh, Shirley is saying, that it always expands your own art, and you always learn more about your own art when you collaborate. Definitely. Definitely. Definitely.